Hello, I'm Nat Fields and I have the pleasure of being the CEO for Urban Resource Institute. In 2012, I went to the Second World Conference on Women's Shelters. And we had this person named Allie Phillips. She's an author attorney and she so brilliantly talked about the reality that pets are part of the family and that survivors aren't gonna leave their pets behind to seek safety. I came back to New York City and I thought about our work here. We launched PALS as a pilot program right here in New York City. It was so successful that we were able to roll out PALS throughout all of our shelters. When they come into our environment, something bad has happened to that person. Nobody wants to leave their home to go into a domestic violence shelter. And then they find you or I, and they engage with our staff members who are considering all of the members of their family, often their children and their pets. And when they make that decision, we have to be ready to support them in that decision. Any of us who have pets and animals in our lives uh, know the impact that they have um, on our happiness, on our well-being. Uh, so we know that people who are in crisis, who are experiencing violence, uh, who may be needing to leave a dangerous situation, they don't want to leave their pets behind. And so we knew that there was a need for these programs um, to welcome people into shelter with their pets, to keep the family together during that crisis, and then also to allow them the opportunity to stay together and heal together. I needed companionship and, you know, I didn't, I wanted a, a reason to keep going forward. That's what my dogs do to me. They help me keep moving, because I don't have children and I couldn't find a place to stay with three dogs. A lot of people don't know about Pals. They don't even know it exists. You know, they gave me my own apartment where I can have my animals, and it was like a dream come true. In New York City and across the country, there is a big overlap in populations who've experienced domestic violence who are in both domestic violence shelter and homeless shelter. Uh, so while the PALS program has really been focused on creating access to domestic violence shelter, we understand and recognize the importance of opening that access to additional shelter environments. Um, so we're really looking um, towards expanding into our homeless family shelters. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Carter, and I'm the administrator of the Department of Homeless Services. And we serve as a safety net of the safety net for those who are experiencing homelessness. Families come to us when they have lost everything. They come to us in the midst of trauma. If they were allowed to come to us with their pets, imagine what that would do for them. Because you see, pets help to calm anxiety. And URI, who have been doing this for over 10 years in the domestic violence field, is now able to bring this to DHS because this is something that families who come to us need. It is a pilot. We are going to be doing this at a shelter in the Bronx. And yes, for DHS. Homelessness is hard, but if we can help with a pet, that is something that we must do. The Homeless Families Residential Programs, we are so excited for the integration of PALS type programming into our service model to see the impact of our families' lives transformed and changed a greater success in stability, being able to focus more on their success and their individual goals. The human-animal bond, it is an important part of healing from trauma. The support of a beloved pet, it aids families in overcoming shared trauma. We hope that our efforts through URI PALS play some part in harnessing the power of your stories for creating the social change needed to end the cycles of domestic abuse and homelessness, as well as supporting other survivors. So when I look back at over 10 years of being able to provide services to people and animals living safely in our PALS program, it is indeed a celebration. We have been able to serve over 500 families in that period of time. So I'm hoping that those watching uh, our work today will feel excited and charged and want to take action. I'm hoping that they will learn more by going to our website, uh, urinyc.org. I hope that they will learn more about how to help someone who may need help, who's a victim of domestic violence. We need a community. We need you. We need a community response, our police department, our government officials. We need everyday people to learn more and to do more so we can end domestic and gender-based violence.